Well, happy Sunday, everyone. It's Sue Long Carrick here from Women Living Well After 50. I'm just relaxing on my balcony. Uh, it's Sunday morning, so I had a huge run yesterday, um, which was uh, 35 kilometres we ran. So I'm feeling a little bit tired today, but I'm feeling good. And what I want to talk to you about today is a post that I've written on the blog today about living our life on our terms. Now, I came across uh, something a few weeks ago, FOPO. Have you heard of it? I hadn't, but it really resonated with me. It's the fear of other people's opinions. And that's something that I think we all suffer from, but it can hold us back from living the life we want. So today on the blog, I'm I'm discussing that and I'm taking us through the different ways that we can overcome FOPO because I know that I feel that but if I had let that overcome me I would never have started my podcast I would never have gone for my group fitness certification at uh, 62 I wouldn't have started the blog at 57 I wouldn't be running and training for a marathon at the moment because I'd be too worried about what other people think. But also it comes back to our own limiting beliefs as well. We can hold ourselves back just as much as anyone else. So I just want you to think about today if there's something that you are really wanting to do in life but you're just holding yourself back. I want you to examine why you're holding yourself back. Is it because of your own limiting beliefs? Is it because you don't have that self-confidence in yourself? Or is it because you're worried what other people might think? It's not their life, it's your life. And whilst it might be easy, not easy to, to have that attitude, I think that once you do, you feel so much freer. You can make your own decisions. It's important that we look after ourselves to, to incorporate that self-care as part of our life. It's in, important to recognise what our core values are, what are important to us, what, how we want to live our life. We only get one shot at life. So let's just examine today the things that you really want to do in life that perhaps you're being held back and not going for them. And I want you to really think about one thing that you could achieve today, that you could achieve and feel good about something that you really want. You might have a dream. This week on the podcast, I interviewed Joanne Tracy. Uh, she's a friend of mine, but she's also an author. And we discussed her dream of how she wanted to become an author and how she actually achieved that. So perhaps you'd like to um, pop over to the podcast and listen to that. And uh, I just wanted to say hello. I hope you have a lovely weekend. I hope you're enjoying it. As I said, I'm relaxing today. But leave a comment for me in the, uh, the comment section below and tell me if there's something that you would like to achieve but you just feel that something's holding you back. I want to talk about cheerleaders. Cheerleaders are those people that we surround ourselves with who are going to support and encourage us no matter what we want to do. They're not going to judge us. They're going to be there for us in whatever we want to do. And perhaps it's time to cut the cord with people who aren't being supportive, who don't really have the same um, understanding of what we want from our life because the negativity that they bring to our life will also hold us back. So enjoy your day. It's lovely to chat to you. I'll just show you my view at the moment. I've got a lovely ocean view. It's a little bit overcast here on the uh, Gold Coast today, but just so grateful to live where I do and um, to be where I am at the moment in life. And really it's taken me, I'm 63, and it's taken me until my 60s to really start to come to terms with who I am, 
what I want from life and trying not to worry about what other people think. Thank you, Jackie Buckley, for leaving me that comment. Yes, you don't have to run. <laughs> Uh, running is something that I do and I've done it with my a couple of friends for over 10 years now and uh, we just love it. But going for a walk, meditating, doing yoga, I love doing all those things as well. Find what you enjoy doing. Maybe today um, actually write down all the things that you love to do in your life and whether you're doing them at the moment and then think about why you're not doing them. So a few little things for you to ponder today on, um, on Sunday here in Australia and uh, I hope to talk to you again soon. So take care. Don't forget to pop over and listen to the podcast. You can find it on my website, womenlivingwell.com.au and you can find other resources and helpful information that I hope will help you to be a woman living well after 50. Take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.